Hey guys, Alice here. Welcome to video number 7 of the How to Set Goal series. Today I am going to talk about environment and environment for success. Your environment is always, always stronger than your willpower. What do I mean by that? Let me give you a quick example. Say you want to lose weight, but you have all these sweet, savory, sugary snacks lying around the house. For me, I have the soft spot for chocolate chip cookies because they're super delicious and so hard to resist. If you all have all those sugary snacks lying around, when you feel that craving, when you feel hungry, chances are you're going to reach for those sweet snacks, right? But if you adjust your environment and replace those with healthier options like, I don't know, um, strawberries and cherries, you're going to start eating those. And over time, this will help you build a healthier, a better habit. So you still get to satisfy the craving, you still get the reward of eating something delicious, you're just replacing the routine. So instead of eating sugary snacks, now you're eating fruits. So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to build that environment that can contribute to, that can increase the chances of you succeeding at your dreams and goals. I'm going to start from the inside out because that's how I believe we should live. Because everything on the outside is a direct reflection of what's going on on the inside. So tip number one, headspace. That space within yourself. A lot of times we don't even realize the importance of acknowledging our own thoughts and feelings. I find peace within myself by meditating, by having conversations with myself with my higher self or subconscious, whatever you want to call it. So what I do is I block out the time every evening to think and ask myself, I go like, hey Alice, what's up? How are you feeling today? Why do you feel that way? Or what, what can I do to make things better? And a lot of the times, the answers lie within the questions themselves. What I also do is I do daily affirmations. I say quotes that inspire me, things that motivate me. Every morning I look in the mirror and I go like this. I go like, you are amazing. You have what it takes. You are worthy of receiving abundance. And I really go like this, abundance. And that just raises my vibration and it raises my spirits. And I just feel so much more energized. I feel excited. I feel so much more happier. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, be aware of the people you spend your time with, the people you hang out with. Jim Rohn said, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So take a step back and look at your like circle of influence, the people you spend the most time with. Are they lighting your fire like your passion are they motivating you are they inspiring you to take action and move towards your dreams and goals are they inspiring you to be a better person or are they pouring a huge bucket of ice cold water on your dreams and goals if they are you better start looking for better friends friends that help you know move you in the right direction and sometimes the people around you can't like cut them out of your life because you're like related, your family. It's know that it's okay to love them from a distance. And instead of trying to change their mindset to save them, why not strive for excellence and become a better version of yourself and lead by example? Inspire them with what you do. Take action. And tip number three, your physical space. Your room and your workspace. Make sure your room and workspace are clean because like I said earlier, everything on the outside is a reflection of what's going on on the inside. But to be honest, the thought of spending a whole day cleaning my entire room. It's very overwhelming. And so what I do is I divide my room into small sections 
and I only focus on one section per day. So as long as I keep that section organized and clean, I'm like, okay, I've done my part for the day, so the other sections are for other days of the week, and I just feel at peace with that. And also, tip number four is also about your physical environment. For me, I like to be surrounded by beauty. So surround yourself with things that inspire you, things that really spark joy. Uh, for example, I love my succulents. Isn't this cute? I, I got this at um, the Tokyo Disney Sea. And this is a souvenir that comes with the meal. And now it's a uh, home for one of my succulents. And every time I water my succulents, I, I, I go like, oh gosh, you guys are so cute. It just brings me so much joy. I water them with love. So that's tip number four. And my final tip is really take an inventory check. And because we're exposed to all kinds of beliefs and thoughts and information like the media, our peers, everything around us, people and the physical environment around us. So they're all adding up and stacking up in our subconscious. And the more you're exposed to something, the more that becomes your default. And a lot of times when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're procrastinating, we go into this autopilot mode. So if you're constantly feeding yourself all those negative, unproductive thoughts, then that becomes your autopilot mode. What do I mean by that? If everything around you is, everyone around you watches, say, reality TV, if they're all better at keeping up with the Kardashians than keeping up with their lives, you're gonna mirror their actions. That's what you're gonna do when you're feeling tired and stressed from work. When you're feeling down, you just sit out on the couch and binge watch reality TV. And before you know it, you're spending hours and hours like, basically doing no nothing that's productive to your life. So really take an inventory check and a lot of times we don't even notice that we're binging all these things. So I suggest um, taking a piece of paper and just documenting your your entire day so from this time to this time I'm doing this and like so on and so forth and when you write it down when you document it you start becoming more aware of how you spend your time and that awareness helps you reallocate your time and um, for more productive activities so that's about it for this video. Comment down below. Um, do an inventory check regarding uh, the people you hang around with, your physical environment, your mental state. And um, comment down below what's the one thing that's keeping you away from really making that breakthrough and achieving your goals and dreams. What's holding you back? And how do you plan on overcoming that obstacle? And if you see someone with an obstacle that you've found a way to overcome, reply to their comments. We can all help each other move in a more positive direction. And if you have a friend you think will benefit from this video, tag him, tag her. Maybe you're that positive influence in their lives, you will move them in a more positive direction and inspire them, spark joy, spark that, that fire within them. So lead by example, influence with positivity. And like always, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on social media. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.